want to do was be left alone. That's what these folks want. They just want to be left alone. They want to live their lives like they always have. They want to be left alone. But he talks about how his own family members, his, I'm, I'm talking about brothers and uncles and cousins, would come and steal their livestock and, and, and uh, uh, destroy their property uh, and harass them to the point where they actually left Desert County and walked up and, and made their way and had to go to Rolla, Rolla, Rolla Missouri uh, to the uh, uh, Union uh, uh, camp up there uh, to seek protection. And I was reading also last night that uh, um, there was several instances. The, uh, uh, the, the local militias and stuff would pursue these people up into Missouri. You know, as they left, as, they, as their, these families left, uh, going up to Missouri, they, they pursue them try, to try to catch them and bring them back to Arkansas. And uh, anyway, I just want to share a little bit. I, I think it's a, it's a neat kind of uh, um, part of a unique part of the history of this county. That this county was bitterly divided uh, over secession. Matter of fact, uh, Israel County was one of the last four counties uh, to actually vote for secession because it was so bitter. You read Archie Stone County. Exactly what he's talking about. The, the, the Peace Society was involved in a 40-day battle at Kickapoo Bottom somewhere between Mount Olive and Sillimore. Three Confederate soldiers were killed and it's listed in the National Register of Historic Places but I can't find it and talking to one in and a couple of them we think they probably somebody's probably stole the marker. That is not because it was erected in 1967. Three Confederate soldiers died in that battle where they took the 47 young men to Little Rock and they had to join. Well, a group of the black slaves that were living in the hills was taken by with the, the Union soldiers. Basically fell in May of 19, 1862 and they were the formed the first colored troops of the Union soldiers in Batesville, Arkansas, and the, one of the young members of that was Richard Gravely, he, and they had to give an oral accounting of their history. And he, he told back being a Harris slave and being a Dillard slave, he was born in 1835 in Rigsville. He is the first recorded person that we have born. <laughs>